I don't think this is going to work. I've been telling you this nonsense. With the rise in antiquity lines becoming more and more common, we should not have any trouble selling him off. Well, if you say so, I have trust in you that this will progress our plans. Oh, I have no doubt about it. Just give it a few years time, that's what we need. Patience. And then things will start to fall into place for us. The past few years have been fairly peaceful on the line. Not much in the way of excitement has gone on. Ron and Jane still pick on one another. The manager's son has officially taken on the line as his own since his father's retiring. Keith had been relocated to the docks, actually, and doesn't spend all that much time by the shed anymore. Lenso and Twilden himself has remained fairly small, despite the growth in uh, antiquity and line popularity. The line still only extends from the docks in the west, towards the narrow gauge line in the east, where Chorus and Sir Derek live. Most of our work has been converting from passenger to freight, mostly shipments from the docks and to the small towns around us so we can supply them with food and supplies. The manager's son had recently been thinking about adding on a new engine, one that would focus on freight while James and I focus on the remaining passenger work. This is when things started to change. And the change wasn't in a good way. Things began to happen in the background that I never really took notice of until now. And it's not just from that small engine. There's a lot more going on here than I wish I had actually known. And the reason I'm telling you, the one who found me, is that someone has to know, because this is still happening today. And only you can spread the word and help them. Because they need you.